The COVID-19 pandemic upended life as we know it, plunging many Europeans into crisis and uncertainty for the present as well as the future. But with societies under strain, people of all ages learned in 2020 that solidarity and social support were more important than ever. We also saw a new kind of response from European governments. In many places, support schemes were simplified, improved and broadened. This was crucial to protect our health systems and avoid an explosion of poverty. Unfortunately, many were still left behind and help for others arrived far too late. As we look towards rebuilding our societies, one idea gaining attention is the European basic income. It could not only benefit people, but even the European Union itself. How? First, it would be a redistributive and anti-poverty measure, allowing all residents to benefit from the collective wealth generated by European integration, without administrative obstacles and limited coverage, without the risk of social stigma linked to conditional incomes. Secondly, UBI would significantly reduce some of the economic pressures for internal migration within the European Union. Reducing brain drain and social dumping, it could be a great tool to fight the depopulation currently suffered by many European regions. Third, it would be a solidarity mechanism between member states, reducing economic and social imbalances to bring greater stability to our currency and region as a whole. Finally, such a shared and tangible benefit could increase the support for the European project, strengthening people's sense of shared values and belonging, and showing clearly what the EU can do for you. Imagine that European basic income was in place in 2020. It's sure that many people would have been able to face the shock. A growing number of experts and organisations are convinced that it is an idea worth exploring and are feeding a debate on basic income across Europe. So join the Green European Foundation in this conversation.